Hi, this is Steve from Emotion Tech. Today I'm very happy to invite Roland, our product manager, who graduated from Technical University of Munich, majoring in geodesy, to explain what RTK is. So hey Roland, would you like to speak German to say hello? Hey, hello everyone. Guten Tag. I'm Roland, product manager of Luba from Emotion Tech. So hey uh, Roland, I think a lot of people are very familiar with GPS. Yeah. You know, they use GPS in their cars, in their cell phones. Mm -hmm. But our Luba is using RTK. Yeah. So can you tell us about the difference between RTK and the GPS? Yeah, okay, for sure. So GPS is a part of the uh, global navigation satellite system, which contains GPS, GLONASS, Beidou, and Galileo. The fundamental of GNSS positioning is that we calculate the position of the receiver by measuring the distance from satellite to the receiver itself. Because of the different error results like atmosphere delay, we can only reach meter level accuracy for normal GNSS satellite position. And RTK is short for real time kinematics. So in RTK, we use both the observation from reference station and the observation from receiver to eliminate the error results to get a CM level accuracy. So why is it so important for a primitive one free long mover such as Luba to use RTK? Well, for Luba, it needs to know exactly the accurate position of the virtual boundary, the plant route, and also itself. It can help Luba to provide better safety and higher efficiency. Besides that, for most of our users, the lane is with an open scale area. It is also good for RTK position. So, but a lot of uh, people may uh, you know worry about you know their yards are par partially covered by trees or buildings. Would that be a problem to use Luba? Well, uh, actually, it won't be a problem. The RTK system of Luba uses full constellation and full frequencies. So it will provide more signals and more observations. And also, Luba uses the uh, integrated navigation system of RTK, MU, Automator, and even other sensors, which also enhance the stability. So Luba will be okay even in a partly covered area. Yeah, that's great to know that uh, it won't be a problem for Luba. Then why not? Let's go try it out. Yeah, sure. So, take a look at our yard. First, we need to find a proper place to set up the RTK reference station and the charging station. We have a house here with roof and tall walls. And here we have a large glass, glass door. So, the first thing to make sure is that we need to keep our RTK reference station away from the roof and uh, wall to avoid the coverage and get more GNSS signal from sky. Another thing need to mention is that we also need to keep our RTK reference station away from large area, large glass area or large metal area or large water area to avoid the interference. We also notice the trees in the yard like here and here. The RTK reference station should not under the coverage of trees because it needs to get the gene signal from the sky. <coughs> so, as a summary, we need to find out an open scale area to set up the RTK reference station. For charging station, we need to find the flat ground to set up, better with a power supply nearby. So, we have found the right place to set up, and now we have got the 
charging station and we set the charging station on the surface. And what we have here is the RTK reference station and the cable. We connect the cable to the back of the charging station. Okay. And then we have the power supply and the 10 meter extension cable. We insert the cable also to the back of the charging station. And then we secure the charging station to the flat ground with the fixing screw and the accessory. And then fixing the three charging station screw on it. We twist the two metal pole together. And then set the metal pole on the fixing screw. The next step, we install the RTK reference station on the metal pole. The height is adjustable. We fix the reference station and then adjust the radio antenna to this position. Finally, we insert the power supply to the power resource. And then the RTK reference station LED will turn on. And now we set Luba on the charging station. We press the power button and the Luba will work.